Hey everyone, it's Michelle Lewis, the life designer. I'm so excited to be here with you today because I have got a great topic. If I had to refer people that were just starting out in their online business to one video to help them in the future to really build their business and stay healthy, it would be this. So welcome to today's video. This is our topic the top five ways to stay healthy while building a business. I know what you're thinking, I'm busy, I'm you know on the computer all the time every day, I don't have time for this. But the truth is we have to give ourselves time in order to be able to give it to other people and to be successful and abundant without completely burning out and just living in stress and anxiety the whole way. So this is the way for you not to do that. This is the way to actually live in abundance, in health, and to thrive instead of you know surviving. So if you don't know me, my name is Michelle Lewis. I'm really passionate about passionate about bringing people life design tips and techie tricks so that their business and their abundance can explode. So let's dive right in. This is going to be a short video and I really hope that you enjoy it. So our first thing that we're going to talk about, number one, is sunlight. Sunlight is so important and I'm going to tell you exactly why. We have a gland called the pineal gland that's right here in the center of our brain. So it's like right here, but if you go back like five inches. That's called the pineal gland. It's one of our master glands. It governs our immune system and it's responsible for how we see our lives. If it's out of balance, which it easily can be if you're starting your own business because you're in overwhelm, you're in stress, sometimes you're in an identity crisis and that's why when we get stressed, we get sick because our pineal gland, which is in charge of our immune system, gets out of whack and that's how we can easily pick up bacteria and virus and have it actually stick and replicate. So it's really important that we focus on boosting our pineal gland and giving it the love and light that it deserves. It really responds to sunlight, so just 10 minutes a day totally boosts it. It's a hormone producing gland and hormones operate based on light. So it's so important for you to do this. And I get it, sometimes we live in areas where it's crazy winter, there's no sunlight, what the heck am I gonna do? And that's why I have and or apricots. That's the food that actually boosts the pineal. So if you can't get into sunlight today, that's totally fine. Go to your local Whole Foods or organic health store and pick up dried apricots. You don't want salt on them or sugar, just the actual stuff and make sure that it's organic. That's gonna give you some great stuff. In talking about the pineal gland, for us business people that are doing our business online, it is so important that we understand what computers can do to our pineal gland and our eyes. Being in front of that degree of radiation, which is scientifically proven, can not only decrease your eyesight, but lead to depression and all kinds of issues. So we don't want that because we have a gift and we're here to share it with the world, right? So what you wanna do is get a plant called thyme, T-H-Y-M-E. You may have heard of it, you may have seen it, and it is a wonderful plant that you can put right next to your computer screen and it actually absorbs radiation. Crazy, right? But I swear it works. It's amazing. So instead of it going here, the plant's gonna take it on. So I highly recommend that. And now we're gonna move on to step two. And that is vitamin B and vitamin C. I'm sure that you've heard of these before, but you may not be totally certain about what they do. So I'm gonna teach you right now. Vitamin B is an amazing vitamin. There's so many different like B6, B12, B8, and you can especially get all those when you're getting it from a whole food source like brown rice. Awesome, right? Brown rice, so we all know it's good for us, but it's really, really high in vitamin B, and that's what our body needs. It's the carrier nutrient for all of our cells. So if we ingest a different nutrient, let's say, iron vitamin b is like hey iron hop on my back i'm going to take you where you need to go awesome right but if we don't have vitamin b our body really starts to shut down it does not operate effectively and the biggest cause of dis-ease in our body is a lack of vitamin b and a lack of vitamin c that's where it all comes from so if you can really be supplying yourself with vitamin b on a daily basis not only are you going to help those processes in your body but you're going to neutralize stress vitamin b is a huge stress reliever which i find so exciting so just Taking that every single day is so 
great for you. And I'm gonna give you some great sources below, so be sure to check that out. Let's move on to vitamin C. Vitamin C is so important on a cellular level. It's a huge histamine fighter, so it's gonna help you with your allergies and it nourishes our cells, our blood, our vessels, our tissues, and our vascular system. It's perfect for the heart. So if you're dealing with any kind of heart palpitations or a ton of stress or just, you know, feeling really uncentered, vitamin C is so important for you. It's a great, great thing. And the product that I'm gonna list below is completely organic. It comes from like 36 different natural sources of C, mainly fruit, and is amazing. I cannot like rave about KDC any more than I have below. So be sure to get that and take a scoop or two a day. When you're armed with vitamin B and vitamin C every day, you are boosting those processes in your body because when we're in brain fog, chronic stress, anxiety, when we can't put two thoughts together, it's usually because we're deficient in a nutrient. So, so important. You will see a big change in your body. Okay, number three, daily ritual. I love this. When I first started doing this in my business a couple months ago, oh my gosh, I started feeling so much better every single day and it was because of this. So every day you need to figure out one thing that you need in order to stay centered, focused, and joyful. So many times I would find myself in the beginning of building my business where I was just getting from getting up in bed, getting the computer, working on it all day, and then collapsing at the end of the night in exhaustion. And it's just, it's not a way to live. We can't be focused on the final product when we're crazy rich and famous. We have to enjoy the journey. We have to enjoy the creativity. Otherwise, what's the point, right? So you need to figure out what is a daily ritual that you love for me? I love going to the coffee bean, getting my iced tea, doing my devotional, and spending like 45 minutes total time from when I sit down doing that, and maybe just doing some brainstorming, maybe doing some reading, like right now I'm reading the four hour work week, just things that are gonna feed me, things that are gonna help me prioritize myself and truly step into my vision for that day with joy and purpose. You need a daily ritual. And I get it, some of us are still working nine to fives and we just don't have the time or we have kids and we're like I have no time for me I so get it but can you maybe take a 15 minute walk in the morning maybe when you're taking your dog out to really center can you put your feet in the grass for like 10 minutes either in morning or at night so that you can really ground yourself and get rid of stress can you take a bath can you maybe on the weekend spend like an hour just getting away from everybody and just going to a coffee shop and recentering? If you start thinking about it, it will open up time in your routine and you will be able to do that and you will crave it and it will help you so much. So daily ritual, amazing. Number four, I always give my best and my best is good enough. I wanna let that sink in for a minute. I want you to say it again. I always give my best and my best is good enough. Whoa. So I am a type A perfectionist personality and I was constantly, you know, achieving things, completing things, but it was never enough. It was like, okay, I need to do better. I need to do more. I need to da -da 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 -da, all the time. And I never celebrated my victories. I never affirmed myself. I was so busy being in self expectation and expecting the world from myself and never like patting myself on the back, never going, I know that I gave that project 100% because that's just who I am. And if you're a business owner online, I know that you give 100% too. But we need this affirmation. I always give my best and my best is good enough. So if you finish a project, if you finish a course, you tell yourself this. Don't be wrapped up in how much is it gonna sell? How much am I gonna make? Oh my gosh, I have to do this, 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 and this. Just sit back and go, I gave my best and my best is good enough and then step out of it. So huge because otherwise, if you're in expectation, it can lead to chronic pain. Remember that every disease 
dis-ease either starts with a stomach ache or a headache. So if you're starting to feel those in your daily life, you're out of balance. And so much of it can come from putting high expectation on self. So I really highly recommend that affirmation. It has made a world of difference to me. And I hold myself up to that to go, am I living an expectation today? No, because I always give my best and my best is good enough. And then I move on. Okay, last but not least, number five. This is what I started to do to my to-do list. And I noticed such a huge difference in what I was able to accomplish. So instead of just having a mile long of to-dos and no light at the end of the tunnel, I started listing my to-dos and then next to that I'd put to celebrate. I wanted to celebrate when I actually did something so that I would give myself that reward and that it would you know, excite me to complete even more instead of those mile long of to-dos and just sitting there in overwhelm and ending up sitting in the corner all day staring at the wall because I'm just so overwhelmed. So instead, when you write it like this and you write to celebrate, so I was, I think it was completing an e-course and next to it, I put um, an Amplify dinner and that's a group of girls that are in Los Angeles that I love being with and they had these tickets for sale for this dinner. So I put that in the to celebrate. And so after I completed the course, I went online and I bought my ticket. It may seem really small and kind of dumb, but it made a world of difference to me. I got excited. I was excited about what I'd accomplished and it made me want to do more so that I could, you know, get that next thing, whatever it may be. So think about maybe rewriting your to do so that they're a bit more achievable and you get to celebrate your wins. You have to celebrate your wins. Those are the top five ways that I believe that you can stay healthier and happier while building your business. And I really want you, if you want to, Check out the links below. I have a free course that I'm so happy to be giving away where you can retrain your thoughts. You can follow me on whatever platform you want and I would love to hear from you. Do any of these tips resonate with you? Are you excited about maybe changing a little bit in your daily routine? Remember, I am here to help you on this journey and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.